It's hardly news that Adobe Flash is on its way out. This means that within the next year, no mainstream browsers will be able to access Flash content on the web. No videos, no games, no vintage Flash content, nothing. So why exactly is this happening? What's the timeline? And what do you do if you need to access some kind of Flash content later? Hey guys, it's Joel here from Make Tech Easier. Major browsers have slowly been pulling support for Flash for years now. And even Adobe itself has announced that it will be pulling support and development by December 2020. This means that within the next year, pretty much no mainstream browsers will be able to access Flash content on the web. So let's look into exactly why all of this is happening and how you can still access all your favorite old school games and animations. Flash was once the standard for videos, games, and other web content, but it's very vulnerable to exploits, thanks to the way it uses memory and other issues. Another issue is its difficulty integrating with mobile technology due both to its tendency to suck power and its lack of support on both iOS and Android. Keeping a piece of mostly desktop software with more holes than a spaghetti strainer patched and sort of safe is kind of a headache. Once other standards like HTML5 and WebGL became more functional and widely supported on both desktop and mobile, Flash's days were numbered. Currently, most browsers allow you to access Flash content on a case-by-case -case basis by manually approving it, but even that option is going to disappear sometime next year. Exactly when that will happen depends on the browser you're using, as they've all announced different timeframes for removing Flash support. But if everything goes to plan, any Flash content left on the internet will be largely inaccessible by the end of 2020. After 2020, accessing any remaining Flash content on the web will still be possible, but it'll take some work. Up-to-date browsers won't be able to load Flash, but truly desperate Flash fans could use an older version of a browser, block it from auto-updating, and use it only for Flash content. Of course, that comes with its own security issues, so do this at your own risk and take precautions like running in a sandbox or only visiting sites you trust. With Flash effectively off the web, sites that offer Flash-based content might not be around for so long. So if there's anything you really want to save, you need to download the Flash file and use a desktop Flash player to open it. The last and best option you'll probably find for accessing this stuff is Flashpoint, which is an ongoing project to archive and distribute the web's Flash content. Thousands of games and animations have now been catalogued and are available for you to download and play as you like. So chances are good that you won't even need to manually back up the game you were afraid would disappear. If something isn't on their list of content, you can always contribute to the community and add it yourself. It's estimated that only a small percentage of the web actually uses Flash. Google estimates around 17% of users view a Flash piece of content every day. So you probably won't notice a big difference in your day-to-day -day browsing. A lot of Flash content has already been updated to use a modern standard, like HTML5, WebGL, or Unity, and any sites that want to continue offering their content after 2020 will need to make sure they do this as well. So if there's any Flash content you're particularly attached to, now is the time to make sure it sticks around. What do you think about the impending demise of Adobe Flash? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Well, that's it from me. If you love tech as much as we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn the bell on, and you'll be notified by our latest and greatest tech-savvy videos. See you next time.